To broadcast in interview mode, log in to your BeLive.tv account and click Start Broadcasting. Select the interview mode. This is the perfect mode for broadcasting a one-to-one -one interview with a guest. In this window, you'll choose where you want to go live. Now type what you'd like to say on your broadcast. If you want to go live in the future, click on this box here and select the date and time you'd like to go live in the future. You can also add an image to the scheduled broadcast post. If you would like an email with the link to your live video on Facebook and with the link to your Be Live broadcast, type your email in here. You can also skip this step. Check this box if you'd like a copy of this alert sent to your messenger. You can also uncheck it. If you'd like to add custom branding, you can do that here. Now click Create Broadcast. You'll see this welcome screen with instructions on how to get started. You can read through that or just click Start to keep moving. Now it's time to connect your camera and microphone. Click the wheel here. Now choose the resolution. We suggest you start with a lower resolution to improve the quality of your video. Now select your camera if you don't already see yourself on screen. Hi everybody. Now you'll select your microphone. Notice the window on the right hand side of the screen. As I connect my microphone properly, I'll start to see sound waves. That means everything's connected perfectly. I can connect my speaker and then click Save Changes. Now click Connect Camera. Now let's invite your guest. Copy the blue link over here. Now that this link is copied to the clipboard, you can share it with any of your friends on social media. There he is. Everyone, this is my friend Jason Rodrigue of Doing It With Jason, a great Facebook Live show. Your guest's name will appear down here, and you can show their name on screen when you click the Show button here. Notice how it appears on his screen, and it also appears on the main screen on the right-hand side. Here, you can change the layout of your BeLive broadcast. Simply click on the buttons to find the layout that you like the best. You can even change these layouts during your live broadcast. This button puts your guest in full screen. This puts you in the lower corner of your guest frame. This is one-to-one, -one and it's my favorite frame. This is two full windows at once. Now my guest is in the lower frame of my screen. And now I appear solo. I'm going to go back to this layout for the rest of the tutorial. You can talk to your guest in a private chat area found on the lower left-hand side here. I can leave a quick message like, close the chat window by clicking on the icon one more time. Here you can set an agenda for your broadcast. With your agenda, you can create custom lower thirds for your show that you can turn on or off during your broadcast. Once you've typed in your agenda item, you can click on show to show your agenda item and click hide to hide it. Click the agenda button again to close the agenda window. You can also write on-screen updates here. These will appear as lower thirds during your broadcast, but once you click them off, you won't be able to access them without typing them all over again. Here you can measure real-time reactions and comments from your live audience. And here you can see all your Facebook Live comments appear below. You can even click on show to show the comment on the screen like so. Now you're ready to go live. Just click the blue start broadcast button. That'll open up a second window. When you click this blue button, you'll get a five second countdown before you're live on Facebook. And now we're live on Facebook. Notice the red live flag on the screen here. Owen, notice the amount of people watching live right now is appearing in this green box over here. Great tip, Jason. Thanks for sharing that. And notice the red end broadcast button here. When you're ready to end the broadcast, click the red end broadcast button here. This will open up a second window. When you click the second end live broadcast button, your broadcast will end. Now you're no longer live. Notice the black broadcast ended button here. Your guest can simply log out. Bye, Jason. See you later, Owen. And I can leave the broadcast studio. As soon as I close this window, I'll be logged out of this room. But I can always access my past live streams by clicking on the menu here, selecting My Broadcasts, which will open a menu of all my past broadcasts, including a direct link to the video on Facebook and a link to the broadcast studio, where I can once again access my comments for future use.